Welcome Classic Rock fans to another episode of New Album Review and I'd like to talk briefly about uh, an album that was sent to me today by uh, a band called The Fierce and the Dead. Uh, the guitar player Matt Stevens kindly emailed me their new album. The album is called The Euphoric. And I'm not entirely a stranger to this band. We have actually met before. I went to the Rambling Man Festival in uh, 2016. I think Whitesnake were headlining uh, and they were uh, one of the early bands on the prog stage if I remember. I remember going to Chill over in that area uh, and, and seeing and then I think I noted I made a note of all the bands I see which I do uh, heavy guitar bass prog and that's all I, I wrote about them uh, which is kind of a bit of a disservice really there's a lot more to them than that as this album reveals um, before I, I, I make some remarks about some of the, the tracks I listened to uh, and it was only a sort of fleeting listen I'd like to read you some of the blurb the euphoric is both a restatement of their signature twin guitar attack that rebounds around the gaps between the garage rock, prog, high life and post hardcore and the development of their sound with the addition of synthesized textures. Well it's those synthesized textures that really interest me with this album otherwise I think it was just um, uh, otherwise I think the sort of music would, would begin to sound very monotonous but instead of um, it sounds very intricate um, uh, interesting and, and almost compelling to listen to. Uh, the guitarist Matt Stevens has said uh, of course it's a heavier a more psychedelic, the buzzword here for me is psychedelic, a bit more spacey and more synths and more down tuned guitars, can't get enough down tuned guitars, uh, which makes this album right up my street. Um, certainly this is sort of instrumental sort of music or sort of prog metal or whatever label you want to put on, it seems to be very much uh, coming to the fore of late. Um, uh, and as I said, I mean, I think um, this music has to find some sort of angle or, or something to, to appeal to people. And they've certainly done that, I think, in the way that certainly the mix of this album. Uh, the, the, album the song Truck, for example, is uh, I've written. It's a hard driven number with some wonderful sort of wispy keyboard bits that held certainly held my interest. It's also got sort of, uh, you know, a lovely bass sound as well. I think it's, I think they've done a, a really good job at sort of producing or mixing this album. It's also quite a short album in some respects. It's only about 38 minutes long, which is, is quite short by today's standards. I think albums tend to ramble on for a lot longer than that now with, in, in the digital age. We're no longer uh, constrained by uh, vinyl. Um, so it, it does, if you, you, it, it, the time whizzes by when you actually listen to it. You're just very tempted to use the vinyl metaphor again, to pick up the needle and drop it at the start again. It, it's such a a pleasant listen that kind of takes you places. It, it, I find a lot of it very uh, meditative uh, and I, I don't mean that in a negative way, I mean that in a very positive way for me. The song 1991 I've put here is probably my favourite I think, uh, certainly on first listen. It's got with a great sort of motif that's played out with the sort of uh, twin guitars and, and keyboards. I really enjoyed that. Um, the euphoric um, Reminds me, the way it starts up, it reminds, reminds me a little bit of uh, Goodbye Horses by Q Lazarus. Um, and, and as I said, that kind of has a meditative quality to it as well. Um, lovely guitar interplay at the start of Dancing Robots, I really enjoyed that. Um, Dugtown is great opening, the uh, keyboards uh, and drums, but it did, did not remind me of um, Streets of Philadelphia by Bruce Springsteen. Verbose is, is a great song with that kind of reverberated, reverberated is that a word? I suppose it is now. Reverbed bass and um, the wonderful sort of guitar phrases that introduces it and then just when you know you're just enjoying that in comes a kind of Brian Eno-esque type flourishes on the keyboard. Great stuff. 48k is great, it starts off like a, starts off like a maiden track and then kind of drifts off into something totally different. Um, I'd have to say overall, I, I you know I really enjoyed this album. Well, listen to it again. Um, uh, I wish it was on vinyl. If it's on vinyl, please send it to me. Uh, that's how I really would like to listen to this. Um, I've written uh, my well after listening to it, I've written. I love the sort of haunting interludes and flourishes that really make this record worth hearing again and again repeatedly. Anyway, these are just a few thoughts that I've uh, harvested after listening to them for the first time. Um, do yourself a favour and check it out. It's um, called The Euphoric. It's by a band called The Fierce and the Dead. Uh, I'm not sure when it comes out. I think it comes out soon, anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. I want to build up those subscribers. Um, check out the Facebook page. A lot of you are doing that recently, which I am grateful for. Uh, but more importantly, please do keep listening.